Hello, everyone. I'm Liu Yu, the co-director of the Confucius Institute at University of Wales, Trinity Saint David. Welcome to the pre-record session. In the first session, our CI tutors will bring you a series of small talks about how Chinese people maintain well-being through a variety of the leisure activities in ancient times and the leisure activities. That the Chinese people still enjoy today. You will hear a real-life ancient Chinese story about true friends. It tells you how the Chinese people make friends through Gu Qin, which is a seven-stringed zither with only music and no words. And you will also learn a small collection of well-known Chinese proverbs on well-being. They are full of wisdom. These well-being proverbs have been passed on from generation to generation. You might have already known some Chinese leisure activities that the Chinese people have cherished over history, such as calligraphy and paper cutting. In this session, you will also have the opportunity to follow our tutors to experience writing calligraphy. Cutting the Chinese character xi zi, double happiness, or you may design a cutting by yourself of the daffodil. When you practice, please concentrate on the strokes, the cuts. It doesn't matter if you can't do it perfectly. Just relax and enjoy the therapeutic moments that art brings you. If you prefer more energetic activities. It's a good time for you to follow one of our tutors and practice the eight pieces of a brocade qigong. It's easy to follow and practice, and if you feel like it, you can do it every day. If you want more challenge, how about practice a Chinese tea ceremony or cook a seasonal Chinese dish by yourself under the guidance of our tutors? At the end of this series. There is an interesting talk on gua sha scraping massage about how it benefits our well-being. Gua sha, gu qin, calligraphy, paper cutting, and eight pieces of brocade qigong are all ascribed as world intangible heritage. They originated from China and cherished by people all over the world.